Hi everybody, we have a Labradoodle puppy video for you today, and this is an allocation video. In this video, we're going to introduce you to all four of the many Australian Labradoodle puppies from our Anue Anue litter, and then we're going to tell you what family they've picked to go home with. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Isle Labradoodles, and these Australian Labradoodle puppies are just about seven weeks old. And in this video we're going to tell you a little bit about what each of our families was hoping to find in their new puppy and then we're going to tell you a little bit about how the puppy that has chosen them as their forever family meets those requirements. Now these little mini Labradoodles are very kissy and they're very excited to be down here so I'm going to probably have to hold most of them because they just want to play play play. So we're going to do the puppies in birth order, which is what we do for all of our videos. And the first puppy in our Labradoodle allocation video today is a black collar girl. Black collar girl is this gorgeous apricot tuxedo puppy. And black collar girl is going to be joining Anne and Kelly in Victoria. Now Anne and Kelly were looking for a puppy who was going to be really friendly, social, they have a work from home situation and they know one of our uh, Labradoodles, one of our Van Isle Doodles that lives in Victoria already and that's Elskin who lives with Cheryl. And they were very impressed with Elskin and that's how they came to us to get their puppy. And they're also looking for a dog who is going to be adaptable, enjoys their adventures such as travel, hiking and going paddle boarding and they wanted lots of cuddles. Well, you can tell that the cuddle part and the kisses are well looked after. So Ms. Black Collar Girl, this puppy goes with the flow. Exceptionally affectionate, as you can see. Kisses galore all the time. She makes wonderful eye contact, and this is a genuine people pleaser. So Kelly and Anne have a neighborhood where they're very social with lots of friends, lots of dogs, and this little Labradoodle puppy is going to fit right in with that. She, it, she's very adaptable, and due to being so adaptable and really wanting to please people, she's going to be great great for working from home with you and she's going to settle right into that role and of course she is in our head start program so that is going to uh, be one of the things we'll be working with this little black collar girl on and this little girl also loves to try new things without making any fuss so if you want to go on a paddle boarding adventure i'll bet you she'll be right out there she'll be all keen to try it and she's not going to be at all fussed about that or worried but she's not the type of puppy who just barges in head first without thinking she isn't a, a silly girl like that very loving, very affectionate. And I know for Kelly that health and for Anne, health was a, a big concern and uh, we, we are having a nice healthy litter of puppies here to give to our families. So that's Black Collar Girl, our little mini apricot tuxedo Labradoodle puppy, off to join Anne and Kelly in Victoria. Next we have Hi Ho. She's actually Silver Collar Girl, but she got the nickname Hi Ho Silver right from the beginning and it is stuck with her. Hi Ho is a beautiful black tri phantom girl and she is going to be joining Margaret and Bob in North Vancouver. They are looking for a great retirement family dog. A playful dog who likes walking, hiking, car rides. They're looking for lots of cuddles and kisses. And they are looking for a puppy who's going to be fine when they are off to do their gym adventures and also go to French club. Now, Reynold is French and he can speak French, and so perhaps we're going to have a little bit of a bilingual puppy here. Hi-ho meets all of these requirements with no trouble. 
She is the tiniest puppy in the litter, but she has an enormous heart and a huge personality. And you can see that the cuddles and affection are just crazy with this little girl. She's like the puppy, this puppy, I describe her as the book that I read as a kid, The Little Engine That Could. She's a small little thing, but nothing deters her. She has endless gumption and she is always on the go. She does this adorable little dance when we come in to say hello. So if we go into the doodle den and she, as soon as she sees you or hears you coming, she goes around and around and around in circles. And if we're out playing and we call her and we want her attention, same thing. She does these really special little dances. She and Reynolds have a very, very close friendship. I think Reynolds going to be very sad when Hi Ho goes to her new home. She's an independent, or sorry, an independent little girl too. Happy to explore and try new adventures on her own. She is an excellent problem solver. We find that with so many of our smaller dogs that they really are very good at solving problems. Very strong communication skills and this is an exceptionally smart puppy. So Margaret and Bob you're going to be, have to be on your toes because she is a smarty pie. She's a cutie pie and she's a smart cookie and she's going to start teaching you how to behave long before you get on the ball and start teaching her. Right? Yes, that's my little hi-ho of the Joy Margaret and Bob in North Vancouver. Next, we have Purple Collar Girl. Hello, Purpy. Purple Collar Girl is our beautiful red and white puppy, and she is going to join Lucille, Tom, Samantha, and Matthew in Victoria. This family met another one of our Labradoodle puppies named Willow. They fell in love and they were looking for that same caring, gentle, and connected uh, trait that Willow and other Labradoodles that they met had. And they also are looking for a puppy who's going to get along with Dennis. Dennis is their cat. And also, uh, Lucille and Samantha are starting a brand new fitness facility. And they were looking for a puppy to be their ambassador and their greeter at the new fitness studio. So Miss Purple Collar, well, she just loves people and attention. She, you just could not find a better puppy for the studio. As soon as I heard about the studio, I knew which puppy was going to be the right puppy for this family. This little girl will do backflips to please you. It doesn't matter what you want. As soon as she figures out what it is you want, she is going to do everything to make sure you get what you want. Very receptive, highly adaptable, totally fearless. So being in the studio with lots and lots of new people, equipment and all sorts of things going on, that'll be just right up her alley. People, 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 people. That's what this little girl is all about. It's all about people for this little purple collar girl. That it is. So what better dog could you have for a studio? And she is the type of puppy who is going to win Dennis over. She will understand that Dennis is the boss. She'll figure that out and then she'll go out of her way to make friends with Dennis and make sure that they get along really well. I'm sure she'll even share her new donut bed with him. Uh, she's a gentle girl with a very kind heart and she's the type of puppy who makes very strong connections with her humans. She's the type of puppy though with the studio, she'll be great making friends with people as they come in. I expect you'll probably have a long client list because they'll just want to come and meet this adorable puppy. And then with the people she lives with on a regular basis, she'll form a very deep and lasting bond. So that's our beautiful purple collar girl off to join Lucy. Seal, Tom, Samantha, and Matt in Victoria. And last but not least, we have our adorable blue collar girl. Blue collar girl is our very pretty apricot party girl. And this little beauty is going to join Susie and her Van Isle doodle Tassie in Victoria. So it's just great out of this litter. We have two puppies going to families who know our Van Isle doodle puppies and one going to a family who already has a Van Isle doodle. 
Oh, that is hi ho telling uh, black, don't you bug me. So see, that's hi ho solving problems, but barking and screaming to get our attention so that uh, we can tell black to back off. So Susan was looking for a friend for Tassie as well as a new dog for herself, a retirement companion, an intelligent dog who is social and caring and enjoys meeting new friends, just like her beautiful Tassie. Tassie is a gorgeous uh, black sable girl, beautiful dog, very, very nice puppy that has a lovely temperament. Susan has done a fabulous job with Tassie and we know that blue collar girl is going to fit in just perfectly with Tassie. Blue's a happy little girl. She's exceptionally independent. She will not harass Tassie. She's not the type of puppy who's like, come on, come on, come on, let's play. Come on, pay attention to me. She'll go and say, hey, Tassie, do you want to play? And if Tassie says, ah, no, because Tassie's bound to not like her very much at first, then Blue Collar will be, oh, okay, fine, I'll go off and play by myself. That will not bother her in the least. She loves to explore and make new friends. So Susan, she's going to enjoy that great big backyard you have at your new home and she's a very playful puppy toys toys and more toys are what this little angel is all about never-ending cuddles are something you're going to get to and you'll see she's a little bit quieter on the kisses there than the other puppies are but she's very affectionate she loves to be in your arms and as we've seen in the other videos and our pictures this is our little upside down queen so if you take her and hold her upside down in your arms and give her a tummy rub he yeah oh yeah she says, that's okay. Maybe not right now, but that's what she usually likes to do. A very relaxed puppy. You can see that she's totally calm. Her crate is her best friend, and she's a very easy sleeper, as long as she can be upside down. So that's our pretty little blue collar girl off to join Susan and Tassie in Victoria. So that is all of our puppies from our Anue Anue litter. It's a small litter, just four puppies, but they are such fabulous puppies that it seems like we have a litter of eight puppies. Lots and lots of nice personalities in this litter. So we hope you're all really excited about your puppy. And now we want to know your puppy's name. Uh, we do know one name and that is Hi-Ho. Hi-Ho will not be Hi-Ho anymore. She is going to be uh, Sophie Opal. So that is her new name. We kind of like Hi-Ho still. We're a little bit prejudiced to that name. We've had it for so long as her nickname. But otherwise, please post what your name's going to be for your new puppy in the comments below so everybody is able to know what name you picked. It's one of the most fun times for us when we find out what the puppy's new names are. So we hope everyone's happy and we know all of our puppies are going to wonderful families and congratulations to everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Is it quite